If you're running low on GTA 5 cash and need to make some money for the latest DLC, then make sure you download App Bounty in the description below. It's a free and easy way to get your hands on shark cards by downloading and playing games. Once again, link in the description. How's it going, Devin? How's it going, dude? We're just gonna take out Trevor. I'm so sorry, man. I hope you understand, but this needs to be done. We need to do this. We need to find your ghost, dude. There were at least 100 comments last time saying that you saw Trevor's ghost in that video. He's gone. He's out. I'm so sorry, T. This needs to be done. I hope you understand. Just chill. It'll be okay. I didn't mean it to end this way, but as you can see, there he goes and the way this easter egg goes is once you do see trevor's ghost he will light you up in flames getting revenge on you after what you did in this mission it's quarter to two two o'clock in the morning there we go so i'm gonna go into first person and i'm just going to stare at this window what was that please tell me that wasn't the ghost there was something around us i have no idea what that was in just 15 minutes time trevor's ghost should spawn in seven minutes to go six minutes to go one minute to go one minute to go it's two in the morning did you guys see that? Did you? It just went right past the window. Did you see that? Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Nort, and today what we're gonna do is something which I didn't expect to do until I saw so many of you guys ask me to do this in the comments of my video two days ago where we took a look at Trevor's trailer at two o'clock in the morning to see if we could find his ghost. And that video was just extremely scary to do, but I looked in the comments, I saw so many of you guys asking me to switch on thermal vision, go inside the trailer and stuff, and just see what happens because what we do know is according to thousands and thousands of players and even you guys in the comments there was an overwhelming amount of you guys in the comments below saying how you saw the ghost or how you've seen the ghost and stuff and there were even tutorials in the comments of that video telling me how we can get the ghost or the best ways to find it and stuff and uh, I got to admit guys it, it, it's pretty spooky so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try out all of the things you guys have asked me to do we have loads and loads of things to check out in this video and for those of you guys who don't quite know exactly what this is all about basically according to thousands and thousands of you guys this is on the official gta wiki as well guys like this is on the gta wiki if you go over to trevor's trailer at two o'clock in the morning right after you take him out in the final mission so trevor is no more you will start seeing a pair of eyes or some sort of ghostly face inside the trailer as if it's looking through the window outside at you and believe it or not loads of you guys actually claim to have seen this in the video we did two days ago which is even more spooky so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out trevor we're gonna go back over to that location we're gonna use our thermal vision we're even gonna go inside his trailer and uh, we're gonna try out so many other things which I've seen loads and loads of you guys ask me to do so this is just gonna be extremely spooky part of me doesn't really want to do this video because I really don't handle scary things in the game especially after the last time we did this video Franklin disappeared and stuff which wasn't really the best thing to see when you're trying to find a ghost this is gonna be interesting guys and uh, before we get into this I just want to kindly ask each and every one of you guys to smile Smash that thumbs up button. That'd be greatly appreciated, guys. Let's try and smash that goal of 5,000 likes, guys. That would be absolutely amazing. I know we can do it. You guys get it every single time. So thank you so much for that. But let's just kick things off and let's see what we can find. Because this, this is just going to be a bit spooky, guys. And, uh... <laughs> Oh my days. Okay, so I need to go over to the circle and we need to take out Trevor. We need to make sure Trevor is definitely taken out because once he's taken out, his ghost will then appear inside his trailer at two o'clock in the morning. How's it going, Devin? How's it going, dude? We're just going to take out Trevor. I'm so sorry, man. I hope you understand, but this needs to be done. We need to do this. We need to find your ghost, dude. And it's amazing to see how many of you guys have seen this as well. There were at least a hundred comments last time saying that you saw Trevor's ghost in that video, which, uh, which was pretty interesting. I was looking at the timestamps. I was looking at what you guys were telling me. And uh, I gotta admit, we did definitely see something. So we're gonna try and see what we can find today. And uh, we're gonna do this in much more depth. Oh boy, this is just gonna be horrible. Like, we're gonna go inside his trailer. We're gonna go right inside his trailer. Because if his ghost is on the inside looking out at us, then surely if we go inside the trailer, we're going to see his entire ghost. So this is gonna be creepy. And uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. Something I forgot to mention is that the ghost will legitimately set you on fire as well. Like, if you see Trevor's ghost at 2 in the morning, he will set you on fire as if he's getting revenge on you after what you did to him in the final mission. And uh, last time we recorded this, Franklin did disappear. So it's unknown whether he was set on fire or whether Trevor got him and stuff, but he definitely disappeared. It wasn't the best thing to see. And uh, once that happened, guys, I was just, I was just gone. I was just totally done. I was like, nope, screw this. We're ending. <laughs> okay, come on, T. It's your time to go. It's your time to go, dude. Just take it like a man. It's your time to go. Where is he? We've got to wait until it's nighttime. We're just going to chill here. Where are you, Trevor? Where are you hiding? 
hiding? Where is he hiding? There he is. How's it going, dude? I love how he like stays inside his trailer as well. Like he knows something is up. Trevor knows this is not good. This is the difference between Trevor and Michael. Michael is just standing right in front of him outside his car on his phone, walking around with his back to Franklin because he trusts him more. But Trevor, as you can see, really doesn't trust Franklin. And uh, this is because half of his body is still inside his vehicle, ready to take off when boom, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> he knows it's going down. All right, you know what? Screw this. We're skipping. We're skipping. We're just going to go and chase Trevor. We're going to get this over and done with. I'm so sorry, dude. And I checked the comments of the previous video because I asked you guys to comment, Michael or Trevor, who would you take out? And most of you guys actually wanted to save Trevor. The majority of you wanted to take out Michael, which I can totally sympathize with. But it was interesting to see your choice. If you guys disagree with that, let me know in the comments section below and let me know why. This is it. This is it. This is it. He's turning in. Oh my gosh. Oh my days. Oh my days. We just need to make sure Trevor has been taken out. So what we're seeing is directly after it. Just so we know exactly where we are in GTA 5. I'm going to take the shortcut, guys. Screw this. We're just going to go straight over the hill. I'm sorry, T. I'm sorry we're doing this. But this just needs to be done, man. <laughs> there goes Michael. There he goes. There he goes. Come on. When can I skip this? When can I skip this? When can I skip? When can I skip? There we go. Here we go. I'm so sorry, T. I hope you understand. But you guys wanted this, okay? You guys wanted this. I'm so sorry, T. I hope you understand. I didn't mean to do this. He's gone. He's out. I'm so sorry. Sorry, T. This needs to be done. I hope you understand. Just chill. It'll be okay. I didn't mean it to end this way, but as you can see, there he goes. And the way this Easter egg goes is once you do see Trevor's ghost, he will light you up in flames, getting revenge on you after what you did in this mission. So this is an extremely creepy Easter egg, but what I do know is thousands, if not tens of thousands of you guys have reported this as real. And uh, this has made its own GTA wiki page, the official Grand Theft Auto wiki. This Easter egg is on it as a huge mystery. We're going to go over to Trevor's trailer now and what we're going to do is use our thermal vision to see if we can see him moving around as a ghost and we're also going to take a look inside his trailer as well because if he's looking outside through the window then his entire ghost is going to be inside the trailer. So this is just going to be awesome. At the same time it's going to be extremely spooky but you guys wanted this and at first when I was reading the comments I was like no I'm just going to let you guys search for it for yourself but after I kept reading there were hundreds and hundreds of comments asking me to go back to Trevor's trailer, go inside his trailer, use thermal vision, and there were still hundreds of comments of you guys saying you've seen the ghost. So this needs to be done, and I really can't back out of this, so I'm just gonna skip this. Oh yeah, there's the credits, there's the credits, so I'm just gonna let the credits roll, so I will see you guys in just a few more minutes when we can get straight into things. Hey, we're back in GTA 5. Here we go, here we go, and Michael, once again, he he's very stressed. He's very, very stressed, guys. Just chill, Michael. Go on, go get changed, get ready for the day, because we're gonna go over to Trevor's trailer. Now, something which I noticed you guys saying is that you only saw the ghost when you were using Franklin, considering Franklin was the person who actually took out Trevor. So what we're going to do is go over to Franklin. We're going to leave Michael here. Don't worry, Michael. You can go back to bed if you want to. We're not going to use you. You seem way too stressed for this. So let's go and get Franklin and let's take him over to Trevor's trailer. What I love about this is Franklin. Yeah, he's, he's sending a girl off in a taxi. So Michael is like so damn stressed and Franklin's just chill. Like, yeah, it's all good. Quarter to one in the morning. The perfect amount of time to get over to his trailer at two o'clock in the morning. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be awesome. Oh, we, we, we suck at driving. And if any of you guys have seen the ghost as well, let me know in the comments section below and let me know what you did. Hey, we just got $38 million. Sweet. If you guys have seen the ghost, just let me know in the comments section below. But most importantly, let us know exactly what you did to see this ghost. Now, according to you guys, we did actually see it in yesterday's video. So I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled as much as I can because of course I can't really pause things when things happen. I can only use my eyes eyes to see if I can see it in the moment. So I need to be on edge for this, guys. I need to see everything going on inside this trailer. It's quarter to two. So what we're going to do is just wait here until two o'clock in the morning. And we're going to see if we can see anything come through this window. Now, this is the window which we're meant to look at. This is the one which all of you guys have said you've seen the ghost in. Five minutes to go and we should see something through this window and we should catch on fire. Come on. One minute to go. Okay, it's two in the morning. It's two o'clock in the morning. Can you guys see anything? Oh my gosh, Lester, don't text me like that. I've got my volume on max as well, just in case I can hear anything as well, guys. And like I said, guys, we have so many other things to try out in this video, but just because it is two in the morning, I'm gonna check this out. Can we see his ghost? As you guys can see, Trevor is no more. He has been taken out. We definitely can't use him. Can we see anyone else around here? 
Anyone in those windows? Anyone at all? I keep thinking to myself that the longer I look at this window, a hand is just going to slam against it or something. I do not like the dark window. I prefer the light one. As you can see, guys, there's only three minutes to go. Once it hits three in the morning, I'm going to start experimenting with this. And there we go, three in the morning. Okay, you know what we're going to do, guys? I'm just going to drive away from the trailer for a minute. We're going to let everything refresh. I'm going to come back with thermal vision. And then we're also going to go inside the trailer to see if we can see the ghost inside the trailer. So let's quickly just exit this area and let's go back in thunder and lightning because that's when the ufos come out that's when things do happen in gta 5 so if we come back in thunder and lightning then uh, it should be pretty interesting guys this is how it works guys i've got this mod menu and i can actually enable heat vision and this is what happens guys when heat vision is enabled you can see all of the heat entities around me so let's just disable that quickly it is currently 1 42 in the morning so in just 12 minutes time guys i'm going to enable heat vision to see if we can see this ghost inside the trailer and i hope we don't get caught on fire straight away like I really don't know what to expect here so I'm going to enable heat vision now there we go heat vision's enabled what time is it three minutes to go one minute to go two o'clock in the morning there we go okay it's two in the morning and now what we're gonna do guys I'm gonna go into first person and I'm just going to stare at this window I think someone's trying to phone me <laughs> I'm just going to look all these windows, guys, and we're going to see if we can see anything. If there is a ghost inside there, and if it does show its face during heat vision, then we should see it in heat vision. I hope so. I'm not too sure if ghosts are detected in heat vision, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were, guys. Like, even ever so slightly. Can we see anything inside there? Anything at all? This is something which not many people have explored in GTA 5, and I really don't know what to ex- Wait, what? What was that? Something... What on earth is that? Okay, this is actually... What is... What? It's like something circling me. I look at this, it moves along the ground with me, like something was just circling me there. It just like... Okay, I'm actually so done. I have no idea what that was. There was like... So I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but something just scattered across the ground as if it ran right across us. And it was like a whole group of something, as if it was like a mist or something like that. Please tell me that wasn't the ghost. I mean, I've got my volume on like max as well in case I can hear anything. What time is it? It's 2.59, so it's almost over, guys. I'm so... What was that? I can't see it. It just appears in front of me and then disappears and it's kind of like spiraling around me like at first it just scattered across the ground and then it kind of spiraled around me and stuff i have no idea what that is there was something around us i have no idea what that was according to the reports the ghost comes from the window and it will look at you from the window and the moment it sees you or the moment you see the ghost your character will be set on fire I'm so done. I'm actually so done. There was definitely something around us, guys. I do not like this stuff at all, as you guys can probably tell, as I've said a million times. So I'm just going to go inside the trailer once and for all. I'm also going to leave this location first. Let me run away from this place first, just so we can get everything refreshed if we just leave this place. Come on, frankly, me and you. Here goes nothing, guys. Here goes nothing. We're back at the trailer. What time is it? It is currently 1.15. I just realized we haven't seen Ron whatsoever. He's usually outside the back doing something, or he's like sitting on the porch or something, or he's trying to take out some cans on here and stuff, but we haven't seen him whatsoever. He's just not been here and not been around. So that's pretty interesting. But what time is it now? It is 1.30. So you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to go inside this trailer now, and we're going to wait there until 2 in the morning. Can we walk in? Okay, I'm just going to wall breach straight through. We're going straight through, and I'm just going to wait here until 2 in the morning, guys. And uh, this, this is going to be interesting. And at 2 o'clock in the morning, in just 15 minutes time Trevor's ghost should spawn in and we should just be put up in flames and set on fire so I really don't know what's gonna happen here guys but what I do know is hundreds of you guys wanted me to do this and this is such an awesome idea spooky but awesome guys so seven minutes to go six minutes to go one minute to go one minute to go it's two in the morning it's two o'clock Trevor Trevor I've got my volume turned up as well, just in case we can hear anything. Oh. <laughs> the thunder outside does not make it any better. It's still thunder and lightning. 
Come on, Trevor. Come on, dude. Do we have to do anything? Is there anything we need to do here? I find it really creepy how the TV isn't working and the fan is just going round and round and round. There's only 10 minutes to go, guys, and so far I still haven't seen anything. I think the creepiest thing ever would be that fan, like, right next to my finger just stopping or something. Like, that would be really, really creepy. Wait, for a moment I thought it did. Oh my days. All right, one minute to go. Still nothing. Still no Trevor. Still no Trevor, guys. I'll give it 10 more minutes because it is 3 in the morning. 10 more minutes. Come on, until quarter past 3. Come on, T. Like, we did see something come right past that window. I'm not too sure if that was his shadow or something or whether it was his ghost. Oh. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm leaving this place. I'm leaving this place. I do not care. I mean, I don't really know what else to do, guys. I looked in the comments, and there were so many awesome ideas, but the most popular ideas you guys really wanted me to do is to go inside the trailer and also use thermal vision. And I'm not gonna lie, both of those ideas did show us something. Whether it was the ghost or not, I'll leave that to you. This is just really spooky, guys, and things like these scare me so much, but they need to be done because they're just awesome things in GTA 5. And who doesn't like a mystery? Who doesn't like an Easter egg? I mean, I know I love all of these things and you guys love them as well and uh, this is just amazing so what I recommend you guys do is not go to Trevor's trailer at 2 o'clock in the morning especially if you don't like ghosts or scary things but if you guys absolutely love this stuff and if you're interested in it then feel free by all means go and check it out and let me know if you do find something I'm reading all of your comments as well so if you do find something if you have a tutorial or something like that let us know in the comments section below but this was awesome and as scary as it is I'm so glad we did this and I'm so glad I could show you guys this and once again guys if you want to help out, feel free to do so and let me know in the comments section below exactly what you do find. But if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Let's try and smash that goal of 5,000 likes. And if you guys are new here, I recommend you do subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis, as well as updates on this Easter egg in GTA 5, because I will update you guys as much as possible. But guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. This was absolutely awesome. I hope everyone has an absolutely amazing day. And until next time, guys, stay. Absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.